Talented Kids is powered by Indomie, you like no other. Sponsored by Coco Plus, good nutrition within reach. Deluxe Acrylic Paint, Frutelli Calipo, Vitamilk, feels good anywhere, anytime. Pepsodent Cavity Fighter, for 10 times stronger teeth, Pepsodent, every smile matters. CTIW Foundation, impacting our generation today and beyond. And supported by Flora Tissues, quality tissues for everyone. Top Choco, it's Chocolati. Snappy Snacks. Maria's costume is designed by Patmorphos Clothing. Aurelia's outfit is designed by Mawinus Fashion. Hair and makeup for presenters and contestants are done by Gunos Grooming Palo, a unisex saloon situated on La Paz New Market Road. effort deserves recognition. Congratulations to all the contestants who captured the judges' heart with their performances last week. As we embark on a new week and a fresh start, kindly know that we will be awarding talents in the best performer, most promising, and best costume and props categories. I am Aurelian Amikwate, and I'm doing this with Maria Yaira Mensa Potella. A very warm welcome to an extraordinary episode where creativity meets conservation. Today, our theme encourages contestants to draw inspiration from the environment, weaving together elements like music, dance, poetry, to depict the richness and diversity of our world. All right, let's hear from our judges and see their readiness for today's episode. Let me move to our technical man. Uncle Tete, how are you doing today? I'm as cool as ice. Hey, as cool okay. As ice. <laughs> okay, if you could choose just one aspect of nature to preserve, what would that be? I'm curious. Hmm, I probably would want to preserve water. Why? I think it's going to be the resource that would cause a lot of problems in the future. We're running out of it, and if we don't pay attention, it's going to be something <laughs> wars are going to be fought over. So let's preserve water. Okay, That's good really one. true. Yes. Rap Doctor, how are you feeling today? You look amazing, Great. by the way. Oh, thank you, thank you. When you don't find it, I just now I've come to take it from my father. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, but Rap Doctor. Obapa. What do you think? is making the beautiful nature of our environment fade away. What well, habits of human beings is causing that? So the first one is mining fossil fuel, which is all the gasoline and coal mining. That's the number one. But the second thing that is destroying this whole universe is the eating of meat, the farming and the eating of meat. In fact, statistics says that if half of the people, if all the people in, in this earth decided to stop eating meat, the problem of global warming would be cut down to half. So, if we want to save this earth, we must cut down on eating, especially beef and um, the rest. Where do you trim it, Auntie Paulina, I would like to move to you. You're looking amazing. Thank you, sweetheart. So are you? You're looking gorgeous. Both of you are actually. Thank you. You're looking you. wonderful. Uh, anyway, my view on this is the plant. You know what we need the green for? Oxygen. Our trees. We have to work hard to preserve that. That's our nature. So please, people, let's respect the greenery around us and the plants and the trees. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Auntie Paulina. Thank you so much, our beautiful judges. 
Before we go on a break, Aurelia, I'm quite sad to say today two or more, two or more, so it could be three, it could be four, it could be five. Yes. Of our contestants will be leaving us. Are you happy about it? No, no, no. Are you happy no, no. about it? Leave them. Some of them, they are happy because they want their favorite to hurry up and win. Yes. <laughs> okay, but if you want to keep your favorite in the competition, you know what to do. Dial star 713 star 13 ash or download the TV3 reality app to vote. We will take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we will discover which young minds are making remarkable strides in the field of STEM. Talented kids! Free to play! The STEM segment is proudly brought to you by Coco Plax and Deluxe Acrylic Paint. I go by the name of Amy Hansen and I am a student of Mitchell International School. I am here to show that oxygen supports burning. During this experiment, the materials needed are a tube or a straw, a stirring rod, a beaker containing water, Empty bottle, and then a box of matches, a candle, and some paper. The last one is a plate. To begin with, we first open our table. opportunity to shine on in the STEM field, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. You know, today, as we already said, the contestants are taking their inspiration from nature. I am super eager to know what they are bringing on stage. The stage is ready, our judges have spoken, and I know our audience are also ready. So without wasting much time, help me welcome on stage a very beautiful young lady who would dazzle us all 
or with her dance moves. Even though she's going to give us a splendid delivery, she is also going to be educating us on global warming. Help me welcome Princess Latifa. Hello, lovely people of Ghana. My name is Latifa Grace Al Hassan. My stage name is Princess Latifa. I attend school at Best Bend International. I give a very big thanks to my headmistress, my headmaster, my teachers, and the entire school for supporting me in this competition. In this episode, I'll be educating you about vegetation. Talented kids, free to play. But the stage craft, oh my god. Let's move to our judges. Let me give this one to our technical man. Did you love it? I totally loved it. <laughs> and I'll talk a little bit about it. You had a strong opening, your use of props on stage. But that first image, and then the first song she used was Earth Song by Michael Jackson. From there, she went to a call, a clarion call, if you may, to humanity that we need to take care of the earth. Through her dance, she built back the ecosystem and it gave life to the people on stage. You have shown us that you are indeed from best brain school because you use your brains. This is when content and concept mix harmoniously on stage. This was a very beautiful performance. It was indeed a very beautiful performance. Which card is she receiving, guys? A green, okay. Amazing singer, and like I always say, she soothes our skin with her melodious voice. Help me welcome Truth! Hello, lovely people of Ghana. My name is Truth Ofori, 11 years of age, a student of Equity International School at Zoom. So, I'd like to give a big thank you to my headmaster, Mr. Afasi, and Mrs. Afasi, for showing me love and kindness from the beginning of this show. This episode, I am going to sing Angelikijo's song entitled Batonga, and this song means Girl Shout Power. TV3 Talented Kids, season 15, free to play. <laughs>
for us. Auntie Paulina, the smile says a lot. Would you like to share your take? I definitely do. Okay. Hey, truth. Hello, Auntie Paulina. The confidence is killer. Thank you. Like Uncle Kwame always says, if I say costume, guys, say check. Are we ready? Yes. Costume. Check. Performance. Check. <laughs> Truth. I don't know what to say. All I could say is you're just a born star. Thank you. But I've just got one little thing to say. Try not to be over overconfident, because when you do, you don't hold your notes very well. Okay. okay? So listen very carefully when you are actually projecting. Okay. All right, darling. Well done. Well done. Well done by Auntie Paulina. Judges. It's a yellow card. Okay, that's a good one. Moving on, we have another energetic dancer who shakes the stage whenever she's on. Help me welcome Biscuit! Hello, lovely people of Ghana. My name is Nana Jesua Amankwa, and my stage name is Biscuit. I attend school at My Case International School, located at Asham and Katamansu Kubikrum number two. And I thank my headmaster, Madam Ivy, and my class teacher, Sir Jacob. They've helped me and support me to get at this stage. And this episode, I'll do something about nature and bracket flowers. Talented case, free to play. Follow the sun, they do this to grow tall and strong. From morning till night, they follow the light. I'd like to be a sunflower. Young sunflowers follow the sun. Nature is indeed beautiful. What's a beautiful and colorful flower? Hey, who are you? And why are you destroying these beautiful flowers? Don't you know that as human beings, we are supposed to protect nature? Nature enhances our well-being from the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the food we eat. The extraction of nature is a big threat to humanity as climate changes. all plant more trees avoid pollution of the environment let us protect the beautiful nature god has blessed us with ghana and the whole world will be saved wow she didn't just give us those dance moves but also she brought us a very powerful message thank you so much biscuit yes please what's your view on the performance biscuit you are a great dancer. No, no, you are a powerful dancer. And I also like the message, and you actually look beautiful today. The only thing I would like to say is that next time, create the right connection between the message and the dance. You see, whenever you stop, you know, trying to express the climate change conversation and you came back to dancing, there was no connection between that dance and the message. So next time, make sure you keep it very tight, okay? Beautiful performance. Thank you. Beautiful performance, and thank you by Ochami, the rap doctor. Which card is she receiving? It's a yellow card. Good one there. 
away from all the dancing and all of that, we are going to have some giggles and laughs right there. Help me welcome the Action Girls. One, three, Action. Oh, hello, that's TV. In this episode, we will do comedy on farming to keep us in this competition. Talented kids, free to play. Let's go and see my friend here, Gayo. Hi. <laughs> hey, yaga yo, yaga yo. Marino, Marino. Yaga yo, yaga yo. Marino, Marino. Wait. <laughs> Is that a flex? <laughs> Why are you going down to dress like this? Have you forgotten that? Uh -huh. Today we are going to clean our environment. Uh -huh. We are going to sweep and clean our environment. So please, let's all change our bad ways. Our technical man, please, what's your view on this performance? It was a good performance. The message was clear. Your acting was on point. My little challenge was the timing for your punchlines. In comedy, you want to spread the punchlines within you know, the space of time you have. And then you want to have us follow you. And then you use those punchlines to, they're kind of like hooks. That's what you get us going along with you. Because at one point, I just got you know, lost in the drama. I was like, oh no, it was supposed to be comedy, and I was missing that, all right? So I think you have to time your punchlines, and they need to be, the setup needs to be precise, and then you give it to us, okay? Thank you. Lovely. That is why we call you a technical man. <laughs> Which card are they receiving? Audience. Okay, a yellow card. That's a good one. We'll be right back with more delivery of splendid talent. Stay tuned. Welcome back from that break. This is still Talented Kids. Well, our next contestant is about to bring this house down with her incredible skills and melodious voice. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Aya. Hello, lovely people of Ghana. I'm Aya. I represent Royal Priesthood Academy. I would like to give a very big thanks to my headmaster, teachers, friends, and the entire school. 
today's episode is about nature and I'll be performing Rango by Stone Boy. Talented kids, free to play. Paulina, does she do it for you? Ah, uh, yeah. How are you today? It's on fine. Great. Sweetheart, you did so well. I mean, like, you got the whole audience up on their feet dancing. You did very, very well. Thank you. But, <laughs> can we hear the but, please? Aya, uh, what I need you to do is learn to use the mic very well because you are shouting. Do you understand? And when you shout, it actually kills your breathing technique. So you are having a bit of a problem with your breathing. Do you understand? And also your words wasn't very clear. You did amazing, but these are technical things that we need to point out. All right? So make sure don't shout, okay? And make sure you use the mic very well. When you're going to shout, move it from your mouth. Okay, so these are the technical things. But apart from that, my darling, you did very well. Well done. Well done from Auntie Paulina. What car is she getting? It's a yellow. Put your hands together for Aya, everybody. Well, I won't talk much. And get ready to have your socks knocked off as I welcome the one, the only, Star Wingo! My name is Apenko Christian, and I go by the stage name Star Wingo. On today's episode, I'm rapping about the nature. A lot of thanks to my school for supporting me. Talented kids, free to me. Star Wingo! I the wonder when I see the beauty of the nature. It they make I feel so great and better. That be why I'm grateful to the Creator. Yeah, whenever the sun shines, I feel happy to see the daylight. And whenever the wind blows, I feel say I got feet fly high. I remember when I went to the seaside, it was peaceful for that side. The way the breeze they blow, no man guy, it was so nice. Drink chalky one side, observing the fish in the sea inside. I wanna meet you, Musa Kai. 
down the child of the white. Then I look up to the sky, see the way the birds they fly. Then I ask myself this question, how self this best they fly? Let's protect my down the child. See, I bet you see the other bead of some new me, a new young pound, who can't move my and yenya, a fatta, air pollution, not also. Different station, moon trussel. Well, I'm saying so, pan air cost for more top pollution, so I do Send me to the channel, dear. Thanks for any bush and a fair. Show me your money, none a fair. Let me out, send out to dear. Send me to the channel, dear. Thanks for any bush and a fair. Show me your money, none a fair. Let me out, send out to dear. Chief! Air policy, no other so. Different station, moon trussel. The lamps and so pan air cost for more top pollution so. And also, let's protect our water bodies. We plant when you cut down trees. Let's protect our forest trees for us to live in peace. Ebenya from our pan in iron, yeah, Ebenya and pass one in iron, sweet. Stop using chemicals for fish. Trouble to live a healthy living. Chairman, not that we should not question. Mother nature comes against reality. I was suspect my dad nature, cause nature's the great aspenter. Look deep into the nature, adopt the peace of nature. Sin I'm a don the channel, dear. Hunts for a new bush and a fair. Shaman, you're man in a fair. And Timony, I was sent out to dear. Sin I'm a don the channel, dear. Hunts for a new bush and a fair. Shaman, you're man in a fair. And Timony, I was sent out to dear. Shan a fair. Yammy about the Yanifa Shanifa Yammy about the Yanifa Shanifa Star Wingo Star Wingo Shanifa Yammy about the AFA Rob Doctor Yes Yammy about the AFA and FA Papa Papa Star Wingo Sir I like the performance Thank you sir You see today you didn't shout and because of that, I could hear every single thing you said. Clap for yourselves. So, I liked it. The message was clear. You know, you didn't hyperventilate. Your breathing was right. I could hear you. I liked the performance. Thank you. Keep it up, okay? okay Keep so it up. There's no but. Keep it up. There's no but. So, with that being said, is it a green card? It's a yellow card. Put your hands together for Star Wingo. Next to come on stage is a poet who will dazzle you with her words. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Sinai. Hello, I am Sinai Dioma Mireya Kwafu from Christ Apostolic School Complex, Christia, Western Region. Thanks to my headmaster, Mr. Emmanuel Frimpong, and the entire school. Today, I'm going to perform about the environment. Talented kids, free to play. In the realm of nature's grace, where beauty thrives in every space, there is a world so pure and free, an ecosystem of harmony. Nature's beauty lies in its vastness, variety and intricate details. The stunning landscapes from towering mountains to serene lakes captivate our senses. The elegance of animal behavior and the mesmerizing patterns in natural phenomena all evoke admiration and wonder. Another aspect that makes nature beautiful is the fresh scent of a forest. <sighs> The gentle whisper of wind blaring through the trees can provide a sense of inner calm and peace. How can I forget the power to heal and restore our body, mind and soul when we are stressed? The movement, rhythm, emotions, storytelling and even activities within dance performances like this. Let's ensure that 
nature never ends by preserving and protecting our natural world. It's Sinai, the motivational point. May that one say, may that say, thank you. Thank you, Sinai. She nearly had me in tears, but I'm very sure somebody cried. Auntie Paulina, please, that person is you. You always do that to me, don't you? <laughs> I'm actually teary. Because when I see talent, I see it. You know what you did? You actually made all of us realize how important the earth is, especially our nation. Thank you for that. Thank you. And number one, you look amazing. Thank you. Amazing. The way you switched from English to Fante, it was incredible. Thank you. Another thing. People might not realize this, but your diction is incredible. Everything you said, we heard it loud and clear. For that, clap for yourself. Well done, my darling, well done. Judges, is he a yellow? Is he a yellow? It's a green, everybody. Next to come is a rapper. And you know, his name coincides with, with one of the judges. Make some noise for Kwame Rap Boy! Hello, lovely Ghanaians. My name is John Quay. My stage name is Kwame Rap Boy. I'm nine years old. I attend and do Tapi Petri School. I thank my madam, Madame Ivy, and my sir, sir, sir Joe. In this episode, I'm doing something about natural resources. Talented kids, free to play. Yeah, yeah. Dance with your own. Put your hands together for Kwame Rap Boy. And he's from Edwinta Preparatory School, and they are here to cheer him up. Oh, tell me, Kwame, does he remind you of your younger self? Yes, man. That's a beautiful performance. Kwame, today yes. I am very happy that I am Kwame. Yes. Wait. Do you know what Kwame means? Mm. Yeah, I mean, the surface meaning is Saturday born, but it mm. means Akwade Nyame. Wow. Kwame. Akwade Nyame. Yes. So, Interesting. Akwade Nyame. So, the beautiful thing about your performance was that a rap song is like a nice car drive. It starts from a low gear and then gets to a high gear, or from a high gear to a low gear. Do you understand? Yeah. So you started at one, and then you changed, and then you changed, and the point you changed. After every four bars, you switch the styles, you know, and that's why it was so beautiful. 
But the key ingredient in your performance was the message. The message was good. And I realized that you also used the concept of call and response. Don't forget, it always works. That's a beautiful performance. <laughs> Clap for Kwame. Clap for Kwame. Rap Doctor, what card are you giving him? Oh, definitely. 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 This is a definitely. <laughs> and it's a gringo. Thank you. <laughs> this is still talented kids. We're going for a quick break and we'll be back. Welcome back from that commercial break, cherished viewers. And are you guys enjoying the show? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. If so, then Talenta Kids. Free to play. Talenta Kids. Free to play. Okay, so if you just tune in, this episode has our cherished contestants drawing their inspiration from nature. So to continue, we have a set of ladies who always bring on that Ghanaian vibe on stage through their cultural dances. Okay, help me welcome Ebubo Kosia. I am Ella Jokache. I am Enjo Jaka. We represent Apuin Academy School. We are the Buronko Cell Culture Group. We thank our headmaster, Reverend Godwin Tokonu, and our headmistress, Madam Louisa, for supporting us. Let it be color. Let it be flight. Let it be green. Let it be wind under the wind. Let it be smart that lasts much longer. Let it be forest to generations to come. Talented kids, free to play. In ancient traditions all over the world, the tree is a symbol of life itself, representing the totality of a universe in which everything is imbued with spirits. Ancient cells planted tree wherever new communities were established to provide shelter, food and medicine, and consider trees to be sacred. The tree of life represents harmony and balance in nature, rebirth and a connection of the earthly and the spiritual. Trees are symbols of strength, individuality, calmness and growth of everything. Little bit color. Little bit green. Little bit smart that much much longer. Little bit praise for nature. Little bit love for the world. Let you stand tall. Little bit vision. Little bit flight. Little bit wind under the wind. Little bit forest to generations to come. Let existence be beautiful. Let change a little. Let conserve a little. We as ambassadors of culture wage war against illegal cutting of trees. for culture dances, but also at the beginning, they left us with powerful messages about nature. Auntie Paulina. But is it possible for Uncle Nee to take that one because of the dancing? Okay, okay. sure. The rule goes here. Um, all in all, very good attempt. If I look at your piece, you had about, I think, three minutes to, to 
present to us. You were a dance group. You spent about half of it talking to us. Now, the dance you chose, Agbako, that's a very difficult dance to execute. And to have the two of you on stage, the movements needed to have been very clean, very precise. I had a problem with the drumming, um, with the drumming that was being played because I could even barely hear the music, um, the, the change in the rhythms. You know, it was a very difficult task, a Herculean task for you girls. You give a very good attempt, right? But next time we need to work on it, we need to hone it, we need to clean, the movements need to be clean, they need to be precise, okay? All right. All right, audience, which card are they receiving? Okay, it's a yellow card. Moving on, we have a young man that carries so much powerful message on stage. Help me welcome Lyricist. Hello, lovely people of Ghana. My name is Kelvin Norty. Lyric the point as my stage name. The message of peace has always centered around preventing the war of man against man, tribe against tribe, nation against nation, among others. On this episode, I'm coming to talk about war. Talented kids, free to play. The message of peace has always centered around preventing the war of man against man, tribes against tribes, nation against nation, among others. Deep down your hearts, are you not guilty of knowing that men are at war with nature too? Are we not the people who fancy the game, deceiving ourselves into believing we are right? When students obtain a grade, they drink the glory. But when they failed, they shift blame on teachers. How come some foreigners get to know that there are places in Ghana where illegal mining take place? How come some foreigners get to know that there are places in Ghana where deforestation and sound winning take place? A person who steals from his parents' home with his friends does not know that he or she is teaching them to steal from that same home. We show foreigners how we plant our natural resources forgetting that we inherited them. Here we are in 21st century, where generations of people have purposely destroyed. It is said that when the last tree have been cut down, the last fish caught from the poison river, then we will realize that one cannot eat money. I am Kelvin Norty. Let raise the point as my stage name. Thank you. Thank you, Kelvin. Wow, a standing ovation by our rap doctor. Powerful message. Auntie Paulina, I saw you paying rapt attention to his performance. Would you like to share your thoughts? Definitely. Um, lyricist, your message is very powerful. And it's very, very important that we all Ghanaians listen to what he just said. It's so important, but we take it for granted. Liz, thank you so much for sharing this with us. And well done. Thank you so much and well done. Please, with that being said, which card is he receiving? We are going to give you the green. Okay, a straight green. Well done. Coming up next, we have another singer, a cute one there. Help me welcome Annabelle. Hello, people of Ghana. I am Annabella Song Suma Banale, a singer from Ghana Christian International High School, Puma Adeso Campus, in Adanse Asokwa Junction, in the Ashanti region of Ghana. I would like to thank all teaching and non teaching staffs and all students of Ghana Christian International High School for their massive support. Talented kids, free to play.
to the world indeed. <laughs> okay, that was Annabelle educating us on water pollution and deforestation. I saw you give it the peace sign and also sing yeah. it along. Did you enjoy the performance? I enjoyed it. I like how she kept switching her voice. Thank she you. She do her low and go to the high. And then how you are confident with the delivery. You believed what you were doing. Yes. That's why we are all drawn in. That's why we sang the chorus with you. Many men shout that. Oh, I love the performance. If you keep on going like this, you go very, very, very far. Thank you for the performance. Thank you. Thank you for the performance, Anna B. Judges, please, which card is Annabelle receiving? Is it a green? Or a yellow? Oh, a yellow. Okay. Okay, that means you can do better. If you want to see Annabelle in the competition week by week, just dial star 713 star 13 hash or download the TB3 reality app to vote. Just a quick reminder, we'll be having some evictees this week, this very night. So please keep your votes coming in. Coming up next, we have the only Dawn in the competition. Do you know who that is? Don G. Don G? Okay, help me welcome Don G. Hello, people of Ghana. My name is Prince Daniel Foy. AKA Don G. I school at Kenan Queen International Academy. I want to thank my headmistress, teachers, and the entire school for supporting me. In this episode, I'll be doing something on sanitation. Talented kids, free to play. Ah, hey, young man, what are you doing here? Ah, don't you know you are polluting the environment? Listen. If you pollute the environment, it will bring outbreak of diseases such as typhoid, cholera, and etc. And bear in mind, open defecation is against the law of Ghana. So go and sing no more. Yeah! Uh huh. Don't you wanna make your TM? And the 21st century got toilet or bush. Only one in the air, Cassadia shoes. We are sending your baby, I'm your push, Ghana sanitation. And what I want your push, your city, your feet, your feet, the bidu, your eight thousand two, your bed to be now with you. How to sort, but bed to be my own, your mommy. What you went in a honey down here. Uja, when I wear a horse, I have a seminar. Keep a brown man, claim it off a family. And our powers are telling to the queue, so. Who are you? I said, every time, eh? What is your own? I come up one. What you call a book at my betty ammo? Oh, do you want to hear me? I am on shramo. Yes, 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 Missy B B bo mo da mo nchen. See sanitation a young to. You see your beto. I do one empire bo. Ne de ti e fu na so ondo. Na so mosquito kunen ya se dia bo. Red na go ne die ti ato dem ya be pon a beto. Go be bia pa pem. So the deep ya be hu na go dem. You see your beto. I be gira fa o dem. Do you hu ne? We fi ti de fu ado. E di ane ne ya. Me se de mento. Chai ti e fi ya. O ko na bon ti ne ya. Cause a ban pepper. After that, the bed told you why you be embarrassed. Don't you want to make you be embarrassed now? Yes, yeah, who did it? Yes, yeah, who did it? Hey, yes, yes, yeah, who did it? Yes, yeah, who did it? Hey, yes, yes, yeah, who did it? Yes, yeah, who did it? Hey, yes, yes, yeah, who did it? Yes, yeah, who did it? Yeah, I will mark. Okay, so let's all practice sanitation. Thank you so much, Don G, for that. He is actually from the King and Queen International Academy in Abeka. I know they are super proud of him right now. Auntie Paulina, did he massacre for you? He did, but you know very well the rap man himself is here. So let the rap man deal with it. Don G. Yes, we. That was a beautiful performance. I mean, I love the rap. You didn't shout. 
you believed what you were saying, you were into it, and you delivered it for all of us to understand. The only problem is that in performances and public speaking, there's a word called euphemism. Have you heard it before? Yeah. Euphemism is a mild, indirect word or expression in place of one considered to be harsh or unpleasant. When you started, you were saying something. It begins with T. I can't repeat it. <laughs> it was offensive. So next time, euphemize all the words that was going to have to do with toilet so that you find an indirect but a much more gentler way of saying it. Apart from that, beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Studio audience, which card is the dawn getting? Okay, a yellow card. We will take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Welcome back from that quick break. Are you having fun in the building? Are you having fun in the building? I mean, there's lots of fun here. It's time for someone who can make noises of a bird, of a cow, of a goat, even a lion. Make some noise for God, the animal impersonator. Hello, lovely people of Ghana. This is God, the animal impersonator. I come from New Ndibiasi, the dancing sound district of Ashanti region. I represent Future Assurance Academy. I, I am very grateful to you. Edubiasi Hine, Nana Ogoshia Odropeni Brinkwani. Edubiasi Hima, Nana Ekia June the second. Honorable George Odro Buane, New Edubiasi former MP. Honorable Abdul Salam Adams, New Edubiasi MP. Honorable Francis Ankoma, New Edubiasi District Chief Executive. In this episode, I'm come to compare two animals to humans. The two animals are the sheep and the goat. The land that kids free to play. My collective name is sheep. My adult male is called Ram. And my adult female is called Eel. I actually have short tails. My babies are born around 145 days after I fall pregnant. I have an excellent sense of smell and I am an emotional complex animal. I don't have teeth in my upper front jaw. I am a domesticated, ruminant mama typically kept as livestock. I am kept for my wool or milk, which is proverbial for my tendency to follow others in the flock. I am used with reference to people who are too influenced or led, mostly as sheep. When a lamb of a sheep gets lost or hit by a moving vehicle, you hear it shouting, I am the goat. I am backwards Kevin Hunt. I am kept for my milk, which is often turned into goat cheese and meat. My male is called Billy, and I usually has beard, have beard. I'm a pumping and so bomb and I'm in a air down casa. You can enjoy my meat with cuckoo or lice soup and jollof rice. My female is called Nanny and my immature goat is called Kid. I have wattles around my throat area and I also prefer to stay out of rain. I come in so many colors and patterns and I'm sociable and therefore become depressed if I'm separated from my companions. However, I'm not flock-oriented like sheep. I'm one of the cleanest animals and much more selective feeder than sheep, cow, and pig. I'm intelligent and quick to learn good and bad habits, such as opening gates and responding to my given name. My natural curiosity may lead me to investigate new items by snapping or nibbling. And you also hear me shouting, <laughs> compare the two animals. Sheep is most comfortable with their flock and they tend to run if approached or spook. But goats are more intelligent, independent and tolerant of interaction in general. So now, are you a sheep or a goat? Thank you. Thank you so much, God, the animal impersonator. That was a really nice delivery. Auntie Polida, I see you in smiles. But please tell us, are you a goat or are you a sheep? 
To be honest with you, I don't know. Are you going to tell me what I am? Which one do you think I am, sheep or a goat? What do you think? Oh, God, be bold. Oh, God, be bold. It's me, Santi Polina. Come on now, tell me. What do you think? A goat. A goat. Okay. That's okay. I don't follow people. That's fine. That's lovely. Sweetheart, you know what? You are amazing. Oh, thank you. You even look amazing. Oh, thank you. And you know what we love about you? What? That beautiful smile of yours. Oh, thank you. And then on top of that, what you have actually done today, once again, is educated a lot of people who do not know a lot about the animals that we eat. Do you understand? So yes. you actually educating everyone in this room today. And all I would say is keep on doing what you're doing and thank you. Thank you. Keep on doing what you're doing. Is there an obvious green? Is there a yellow? And it's a gringo! Thank you so much, God. Next to come on stage is a beautiful singer who will wow you with her melodious voice. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Patsy! Hello, my name is Patricia Adopta and I represent West African Senior High School. I give very big thanks to my headmistress, my housemistress, my teachers and the entire school. In this episode, I'll be talking about the land. Talented kids, free to play. Paulina, I'll come straight to you. You good? Yes, please. You did very, very well. And Thank you. Do you know, this song is very, very difficult to song to sing. There's a lot of words in it. Do you understand? And yes, if you please. don't phrase it well, it makes your notes flat. Do you yes, understand? Please. And as far as I'm concerned, it was difficult to do, but you handled it very well. Thank so you. I would say, well done. Thank you. Well done. So is it a green card? Is it a yellow card? It's a yellow card. Put your hands together you. for Patsy one more time. Next to come on stage is another poet, but he will deliver some bars that will leave you in tears or mesmerized. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Della 
My name is Dela C. Efo Kodjo Gamesi, and on stage I go as Dela, a proud student of Selis Memorial School Complex. I would like to thank my headmistress, Madame Rose Akapare, and my headmaster, Sir Augustine Kunuba, for their love and kindness which has brought me this far. In this particular episode, I will be presenting on the beauty of nature, talented kids free to play. In nature's embrace, where wonders abound. A symphony of beauty, sight, and sound. From towering mountains to the depths of the sea, nature's wonders inspire, setting our spirits free. In verdant forests where trees reach up to the sky and rivers minder flowing gently by, birds sing melodies as if to proclaim the majesty of nature in every refrain. In fields of flowers, a riot of color, nature's palette, a masterpiece like no other. Butterflies dance on the gentle breeze, whispering secrets among the trees. In the wilderness where wild creatures roam, nature's wonders find their home. From the mighty elephant to the delicate deer, each one a testament to nature's power and cheer. But as we marvel at this grand design, we must remember it's our duty to align with efforts to protect and to preserve so future generations can also observe. Before I continue, I would like to introduce to you some of my beloved family members. So right now, I have with me the sea, my lovely auntie. The one who loves me every day and the only voice of God. Not to talk of my dear brother, River Pra. He who just flows and fishes glide in him. Hey. Life is so sweet. I have my dear uncle, the trees, always remaining green. And he never wants to shave his hair. Every day he had dyed his hair green. But, but, my dear judges, but, my dear friend, the River Pra, we have gradually been going on and turned it into tea, Tom Brown. I hope you guys are now glad. Our dear source of water, the river price, now be turned to Tom Brown. Oh. My uncle, the trees, he has now shaved Shapanto. <laughs> Not to talk of my lovely auntie, she who speaks the voice of God, she's now choked with rubbish. Why? Why? My dear judges, why? My entire family, we have numerous enemies. But there's one which is common. Can you tell me that one? There's one which is common. Galamse! Galamse! The monster of our nightmare, the destroyer of our lives. Let us say no to Galamse. Let us cherish this world so rare, so perfect. We can plant trees and clean our seas, reduce the waste and protect the bees. Together, hand in hand, let us strive to keep nature's wonders alive. For in the end, it's not just for us, but for all creatures, great and small, without fuss. Let's cherish nature and treat it with care. For its treasures are wonders beyond compare. The name still remains Dela, your humble and loyal. Thank you very much. Your humble and loyal. Wow, Auntie Paulina is standing. But I'll go to Uncle Nee. Uncle Nee, you look, you look mesmerized, you look sad, you look teary. Words can't describe how you look right now. This young man has the ability to use his words to conjure such vivid images in our heads that connect beautifully to our emotions. Della, you were amazing on stage. 
okay, your characterization. You even use some bit of comedy to help us connect to very difficult subject matters. And you do not seem to forget your lines. Mm? You were amazing on stage, all right? Mm. Audience, what card is it? What card is it? And indeed, it is a green. Next to come are two incredible dancers about to wow you off your seats. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. My name is Princess Video C. I am 11 years of age. I attend St. Peter Methodist Primary School. I give thanks to my headmaster, Sir Maljo, and my best teacher, Antela and Seima. My name is Patient Afeke. I am 11 years of age. I attend Fortin Christian Safadan. I thank my headmaster, Sir Cornelius. In this episode, we are doing something about water. Talented kids, free to play! I am the ocean. I'm water. I'm most of this planet. I shaped it. Every stream, every cloud, and every raindrop, it all comes back to me. One way or another, every living thing here needs me. If nature isn't kept healthy, humans won't survive. I'll let you have this one. This was difficult for me, okay? You girls are two talented dancers on stage. You were not synchronized. It looked like the material you were working with, you were not comfortable with. So you were not speaking truth, you know, to us. Honestly, it looked, it wasn't your best because we've seen you perform. Hmm? What card are they getting? It is a red and a yellow. It's in between an okay and a not so good. Remember, if you want to keep your favorite contestants in this competition, you need to vote for them. And you can vote by dialing star 713, star 13 hash, or downloading the TV3 reality app on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. We're going on a quick break and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. 